So today we have another awesome, awesome Battlefield Report against with my glorious towel versus Mason's evil, super evil robots. Eh, they're just different minded. Yeah, about that. Well, well, Mason screws around with that. I'm going to say what I have in my list. I got a commander. Oops, there we go. Commander with the um, plus two armor save, the titanium battlesuit. Everybody, all the battlesuits have feel no pain. All the weapons are wheezy wigged. They all have the stealth shield generators. I got two squads of fire warriors. Everything's bonded, by the way, my whole army. Um, I got a arrowhead, devilfish, sky ray, devilfish. All of the fishes and the hammer and the hammerhead and the sky ray. They have the destruction pod. They have smart missile systems. They have um, feels like I'm missing something else. I really need to write these things down. You have secret missiles. Secret missiles, yes, and. Two weeks. Next one I'm gonna do. I am so bad. Okay, so this is what I have. I have. No. No. Here we go. I got decoy launchers. I have. Flexible discharges. I got point defense targeting ray and a dispersion pod. Oh no, I don't have decoy launchers. I got the dispersion pod and the launchers mixed up. Um, then I got a squad of six cell suits with two fusion blasters. The blue guy with the cell suit and the blue cell suit with the fusion blaster is my sergeant. Um, all the battle suits have gun drones with drone controllers. And the um, PS2 Overwatch. And that is really it for my list. Mason, what do you have? All right, because I forgot my Nightbringer today, I decided to overload my Overlord with the Veil of Darkness, a War Scythe, the Tychion's Arrow, Mind Shackle Scarabs, Phase Shifter, Flectory, and Resor. And of course, he's going to be with. Immortals, standard. Let's see, I got, of course, two monoliths. The two blades, they're going to have the shield veins, but they're pain in the ass to model. Otherwise, they do have those, and they do, of course, have the I don't care about your cover scenes. Nice. And of course, I have multiple units of warriors. Do, do, do. Are they? They are in that. This is 1,500 points. Uh, let's see. You know, I'm going to have to take one out because that was for another list I was doing. So one of these is going to have to go bye-bye. Oh, thank God. I'm going to get rid of those guys over there because they're not paying. Awesome. Make that easy. Okay. Then let's see. Of course, the Deathbringer flight. Because they're in formation, they get special rules. Minus one to enemy leadership within 12. And when one fires, it's big cannon on the bottom. The other gets plus two for its ballistic skill. Nice. Yippee! And of course, Warlord Trait. Basically, Warlord Trait, everybody within 12 gets Relentless and Crusader. However, having the Decurring Detachment, I already have pretty much Move the Cover and Relentless for everybody. So, meh. Whatever. Well, it looks like that's really for you, Mr. Mason, right? Oh, uh, for Unless I can somehow create something from thin air. Well, in that case, um, the mission is kill every single living thing that moves. And it's the table, and we will see what, what setup is after. So, this is set up. And my cell suits are infiltrating right there. I forgot they actually have the um, sergeant does have the um, beacon, so within six inches, anything deep strike, you will not scatter. And that's amazing stuff. And I am about to shoot my pants.
So at the end of turn one, Mason actually did get first blood. He actually knocked out my devil fish. And the thing I really did was the sky ray took off a hole point off the monolith, and I killed one of his get bikes. That's really it. So we'll see what happens at the end of the next turn. Oh, reanimation. Oh, yeah, that. It's going to be normally five up, four up because of the formation. Yeah, he is, he's still good, so you don't actually can. Dang it. So at the end of turn two, Mason actually did a lot of damage on me. He knocked out my hammerhead, and he actually killed a bunch of my fire warriors. It was like three or four? It was like five. On me, on the other hand, I had my battle suits come in. And that's glanced. Oh, yeah. The whole problem's taken off, and I literally didn't do anything, but we'll see what happens at the end of turn three. Well, it looks like it's a fighting last stand for the Tau. Uh, the only thing I really did was just killed a couple of warriors. Well, Mason killed a bunch of fire warriors, gun drones. My and, own warriors. And he did kill two of his own warriors. So everything's on the table. And we will see what happens at the end of the next turn. So basically what happened was I killed basically nothing. What do you think these are? Oh, I did kill some I did kill some warriors. That was like, oh, you killed not these were from previous on there. Yep. Uh so yeah, you're shooting kill these guys. Yeah, only a couple guys. Um Mason on the hand destroyed a lot of stuff. Um let's combine close combat because of the um close support fire from the devil fish from this guy. From all these fireworks and the cell suits, on this guy caused no wounds on him, but he did wipe out the cell suits. Um, a wound was caused on this, and I did cause a wound on that from the sky right. Um, other than that, that's really it, right? Okay, well, we'll see what happens at the end of the next turn. So, at the end of turn 5, um, a lot of fun stuff happened. First off, most importantly, this Fire Royal Squad actually knocked out a monolith in close combat with the EMP grenades, thank God. But they all got knocked out, oh. except one. Oh, make his uh, morale? Oh, yeah. We have nine. Uh, oh, yeah, he's running. Three Six, inches. Three inches. Does that put him near my guys? Well, he's straight this way, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he got in. So he basically ran into impossible train and killed himself. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, anyway, uh, other than that, um, they, all these guys actually knocked one in close combat again against the Warriors. They moved, and they actually did supporting fire when the... Um, Overlord attacked the Devilfish. And actually knocked off a wound, but... Phylactery. But it will not die, actually. Brought it back. Yeah, brought it back. <laughs> Over here, this fire warrior actually is in lack of close combat with their immortal. So, um, so it looks like it's a lot of close combat, and we will see what happens at the end of the next turn. Okay, but just for clarification, that is still alive. Yes, that is still alive, but it's only got one whole point left. Um, what did I kill? I know I killed some stuff. Shoot, I completely forgot. Uh, Overlord. Oh, yeah. My battle suit, my commander and his bodyguards did destroy and finally kill his lord, but because the little, I don't know what the that thing is called. Uh, basically, it's a doom scythe. Doom scythe. Knocked out on um, two bodyguards. You could have sacrificed your commander. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> uh, and um, over here, still a little slap fight. And my Sky Ray did actually knock off a hole point on the other Doom site. Uh -huh. So, this is going to be the last storm coming up. And after that, we will see what happens.
So it's the so it's the end of the game right now, and the final tally is Mason. He killed my stealth suits, two squads of fire warriors, um, devil fish, another devil fish, hammerhead. So six, um, stealth suit. So like seven. And first blood. First blood, line breaker. So nine versus I. So you killed my commanders. So that's two right there. Yep. Uh, so you do have line breaker. You killed two squads of fire wars, and you killed the uh, jet bikes. So six. Six and the monoliths. So seven. Mm -hmm. So seven to nine. Seven to nine. Well, that was actually very very close. Um, the biggest thing that I find like really cheesy is just having three flyers, to say the least. <laughs> also, one of the strength ten AP two. One. AP one, well, even worse. <laughs> but I'm guessing my next thing I'm going to be buying is definitely a Riptide or something big like that. So I can actually take out some of his stuff. Well, if you, if you get a Ghost one and combine it with those guys, you'll have an auxiliary uh, uh, unit. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to use your core and your auxiliary. And then you'll get that special shit in the book for having the hunter stuff. Yeah. And with the mirrors, or the shroud of mirrors or whatever the heck it is. Yeah. All your stealth suits and everything in that formation will only hit on rear armor, which isn't good against these guys, but against everybody else it's awesome. Yeah. Well, it was still a fun game to say the least, and I am going to go buy some sealant for more of my towel, my, some Gundam models. So, till next time, hopefully you guys have a great, great time.